Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a form with conditional logic and uh, based on the user selection you can redirect them to either one page or another page. Now user uh, redirection is just an option, you can take other actions as well in place of redirecting a user to a page but for this video we're going to be sticking with the redirection function. First of all, let's go ahead and build your form. All right. If first of all, if you don't have, uh, if you never worked with Wix Velo before, hover on the top of your website over the Dave Mode and click on Turn On Dave Mode. After this, click on Add, go to Input, and here you'll have a variety of input selection bars. So I'm going to use the free text input element, and I'm going to create three of them to capture some user information. And then for my conditional logic, I'm actually going to use a drop down. So this is a drop down. And then finally, I'll have a button. And then this is my button over here. Now let's go ahead and rename these, uh, these input elements. So let's say I'm capturing the username. So F name, L name, first name, last name, email, and then the option now i'm going to go ahead and change the placeholder text so the user knows what information to enter i'm going to change this type to email and then your selection all right under your selection Let's add two selections. Let's say black and blue. All right, so we have two selections over here, black and blue. And based on this user selection, we're gonna redirect them to a page. So before we get started, let's finish up labeling everything and changing the IDs of the buttons. And then let's go ahead and actually make the page called black and blue. So first I'm gonna create the black page and then the blue page all right now at the same time we also want to save this to a database so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new data set collection with four values, first name, last name, email, and option. Now, let's give the database a name, form database. What is this sub collection for? Let's say form submission and then create collection. Once your collection has been created, which might take a while depending on your network connection, you're going to see a window like this. Now, over here, let's create some new fields. So click on that plus sign over here and write down first name now notice that we'll be using the field key not the field name for your code so remember what the field key is going to be we have first name last name email and then selection all right since our database is now ready we go ahead and start putting the form over here. Now, in order for this form to be more secure, we're going to enter the form data from the back end. So click on code files in the left hand panel. Create a new JSW module called submission. Now, under this, import the Wix data API. And then if you go to the Corvid reference, Velo reference now by the time you're watching this video. Go to Wix data and under Wix data, go to Wix data query. And under query, find 
and then over here you see that fixed data find has this options uh, this variable called options which will allow you to suppress authorization and hooks now we don't need it because since our data this is already set to uh, submit by any user but still it's good to know that if you have a database which is secure and you want to enter data from the backend you need to use this options variable uh, object given over here so go ahead and create an export function data submission now this will be the payload which will be passed from the front end and then return wix data dot insert then the database id which is form database and this will be the payload and then another comma and then options to override any authorizations so over here let's go ahead and import this function from the back end on the page so import function name from back end slash submission now let's create a on click event handler for your button so click on your button and under event handlers click on on click now let's run some validation before we allow this data to be submitted so if f name is valid which means it has a valid value l name is valid and email is valid along with the selection sorry the option then we allow the data to be submitted else we're gonna print an error on the browser console all right perfect so we have some conditional logic now which will allow you to check whether the user entered data is valid or not now after this we're going to create the submit function so we have to let's open up the database again and check what the field keys were because we have to assign uh, the user entered values to the exact field keys as we have it in the database so the field keys are first name and then last name and an email and selection which will be in small letter so that payload is equal to first name and then the value will be what the user enters last name again value will be what the user enters email and then the selection which is option on the page Now we call the submission function from the backend. We send this payload and then we wait for it. Once the submission has happened, we run another validation check to see which option was selected. So if option dot value is equal to black, we're going to redirect to the black page as the blue page now in order to redirect we need to import the fix location module so there you have it the fix location module so fix location dot two slash black page and then the blue page i made a typo over here it should be dash not equal to sign all right let's go ahead and check it so i enter my name and then i should enter blue and then i click on submit and as you can see i have been redirected to the blue page so that's how the conditional logic i know that the conditional logic is working and if you see the database you can see that my form has been submitted the values for my form has been submitted 
So that's how you make a form with some conditional logic and then you save the data and uh, take some action based on the user entered value. Now the redirection is only uh, an example. You can do a lot of things like send a conditional email, send a custom email based on the values they selected in your form, etc. So it's entirely up to you what kind of creativity you'd like to use. So this is basically how you use a form for conditional logic.